Hi, how are you all? So it's my first vlog since I got back from Las Vegas. It is Tuesday, I don't know. It's the Tuesday after I get back, so eight, nine, Tuesday the 11th. Um, oh boy. <laughs> it was a fun vacation, but yeah, you get, you get home and you know, life happens, right? Um, I did get some really great swap mail um, when I got home. Um, the rest of my swap mail from Anne and Dina, thank you very much. I already thanked you via email. And I've already put everything away. Um, I should have done it in front of the camera probably, but I didn't. So, I, But everything was great, thank you very much. I also got a piece of Happy Mail that, again, I already put away. Um, and, but it was sent in this really great envelope, which I saved. Isn't that... Don't you love that? It was from Jennifer... This is why I had my reading glasses on. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Jennifer Beavers. And I already put it all away, but she sent me some really great stuff, including some inchies. Yay, thank you so much. Um, I love them. Um, I have a bunch of stuff on my desk here. I got some other happy mail just yesterday from... It says... Michelle? M-I-C-H-E-L? Chicago, Illinois. Um, and yes, that's my dog, you know, barking at, you know, God knows what he's barking at. <laughs> I don't know. Let me get something to open this envelope. Come on. All right. I'm trying to save the envelopes now because I saw a post on Facebook this morning from, I think, Roz Nelson. Um, I think it was in Junk Journal Junkies, Junkies, where she made a junk journal out of just envelopes that people had sent her. It's a fabulous idea. It was such a great journal, so I'm going to try to do one of those because I'm constantly getting great envelopes from you all, and I don't know what to do with them. So this is the envelope for this one that just came yesterday, and I don't know what she made it out of. I'll cover up her address. But a um, piece of scrapbooking paper, maybe? But I just love it, so... Let's see, is there a note in here? I'm looking. No note. I'll see. But there is some really great stickers. And let's see. Oh, yep, there's a note. Hold on. Oh, it's from Simona. Thank you, Simona. I thought that might be who it was. That name's not super common, so um, thank you, Simona. So she sent me some quote words, um, which are great. I love you. I, I mean, I love the words. Um, they don't say I love you. Um, but I love the words very much. I'm a tad bit discombobulated, and I'm going to be for a while. So you guys are going to just have to put up with me. But there's a bunch of really great words and some calendar quotes. I can't go into why I'm discombobulated, but things are kind of stressful right now. There is some stuff going on that I can't talk about publicly, but um, with my family. So um, just say some, you know, send some good, kind thoughts out there. She made some great envelopes out of just like catalog pages. These are great. I love these. I'm going to save them to include in that journal now that I want to make. What is this? Is this another envelope? It is. Here's another one that she made. Such a great idea. Here's a calendar page. Um, and the picture on the back side is really cute. Sewing mends the soul. Love that. And then there's a jelly print, but it seems to be a little bit stuck together. Let's see if I can unstick it. You know, I always hear other artists and crafters complain kind of about some of their products in, you know, the heat and humidity, um, things drying too quickly or getting sticky. Uh, you know, I'm from California, so I don't really know what that's like till you go to Las Vegas and you're journaling in Las Vegas. And I got to tell you, uh, you know, even though I was inside of um, uh, a condo and, you know, with the air conditioner on, it is still so hot there that the gel medium drives so, dries so fast. Like, you just don't even know. It dries so fast. Um, anyway, here's the, the painted paper that Simona included. I love it. 
thank you so much. Um, I came home with a bunch of, um, you know, different things. I, there is going to be a video posting um, on the Year of My Life journal slash travel journal that I always bring with me. And um, I'm going to be going through some of the bits and pieces I brought home and what I used in my journal and things like that. So um, look for that video because I talk more about the bits and pieces I brought home and why I brought them home and all that in there. But I did find two things that I wanted to um, look up when I got home or shout out when I got home. So in Las Vegas is this store on Las Vegas Boulevard. It's in a shopping center. No, I don't remember the name of it. Town Center Mall? Um, it's called Artifact. Artifact is a sort of artist cooperative store. They have um, different things in the store from various different local artists. And um, it is fabulous. So if you're in the area, I'd recommend you go. It's a wonderful place. They were really kind and nice and they had some fabulous things. And if I had a bigger suitcase, I would have brought a lamp home because they had these cool lamps made out of old, old uh, movie and film cameras. They were really cool. Really, really cool. And I have a daughter who's a photographer, so yeah, can't fit in my suitcase, but they were great. They do have a website, um, artifactlv.com. So look, them, I definitely would recommend looking them up. Um, the artist who makes the lamps is Eric uh, Leans, L E I N S. So they were wonderful. There's also in Las Vegas, and I've been there before. I thought they closed, and then we found that they just relocated. Um, and I've bought clothing from them before. The boutique is called Tatiana, and they are a Betty Page-inspired clothing store. And they have the most fabulous things, and they're having a sale right now. So anyway, their website is Tatiana.com. T-A-T-Y-A-N-A.com. Really great store. And then we were at... I think Red Rock Canyon, and they had um, an art little art exhibit, and we didn't know they were having that when we went, and they had this one artist who's a watercolorist, and I'm going to look her up on the internet, uh, so I brought her postcard home. Her name is Susan Thiel, T-H-I-E-L-E dot -E com. She did the most fabulous watercolors of Red Rock Canyon. Oh my gosh, people. So go to her website and take a look. Fabulous inspiration for our paintings and watercolor. Really, really great artist. I really was admiring her work while we were there. So I brought this card home so I could look her. Remember what her name was to look her up because, you know. Uh, let's see. What else? So I love Las Vegas, obviously. Y'all, if you follow me on social media, you know that I go. We've been every year, I think, for three years in a row. It is not the best place for me to go with allergies and asthma <laughs> between the dust and the heat and the smoke and all of the ladies with really strong perfume I can't breathe. <laughs> I used my inhaler um, for the first time in a long time and more than once while I was in Las Vegas. Um, here at home I have the same allergies, they don't go away. I just don't put myself in situations, generally speaking, where I'm going to have a problem um, or know I'm going to have a problem. I try to avoid those situations. Um, dust and pollen, obviously. You know, you all know I love to go walking, but especially when it's dry and hot like it is right now, um, I don't go walking outside. I will go instead to the gym and go on the treadmill um, because when I do try to go out walking outside too much, I don't get very far before I start coughing and wheezing, despite the fact that I'm on medication daily. Um, so I had still had that problem in Las Vegas, mostly not from the pollen, but from the dust and the sand. Um, you know, it is, it's the desert, so everything's kind of dusty. Um, but also you have the cigarette smoke. I know here when I'm home, I avoid areas where I know people are smoking. If I happen to be walking outside somewhere or, you know, like to my car from the grocery store and I walk by somebody who's smoking, I actually hold my breath until I get past them. Um, because if I breathe it, I start wheezing. Um, I avoid the perfume and cosmetic departments of most stores if I can. 
and um, I also have trouble sometimes in the cleaning department aisle, um, especially if it's a store that has lots of, or an aisle that has lots of like fabric free, um, softeners, scented things, um, candle aisles, um, you know, anything like that, usually it will set me off and I'll start coughing. So I try to get in and get out quickly. <laughs> Uh, if I'm in there to buy something, a cleaner for home, I always buy unscented if I can. And um, if I have to, I hold my breath or I send my husband if he's with me to go or my daughter to go get it. Because, yeah, it's just not good. But when you're on vacation, you can't afford avoid everything. And when you're in some place like Las Vegas where smoking really is not banned, you know, in public like it is here in California, um, It, you can't avoid stuff. And when you're in a place like that with so many tourists, you know, there's women with really strong perfume and they just don't get that, you know, not everybody can uh, breathe around you when you're wearing that. Some of us can't breathe. Um, you know, and then you have all the stores that are trying to hand you free perfume samples. And I'm just like, oh my God. And everywhere we went, they were trying to hand me lotion samples or perfume samples or I'm just like, oh, no, no, thank you. No, I can't breathe. Your store makes me makes it so I can't breathe anyway. So I used to love to go to bed, uh, like Bed Bath and Beyond, um, not Bed Bath and Beyond. Sorry, um, is it Body Works? Any of those kind of soap, fancy soap and perfume stores? I used to love them, and I love perfume. And I just, ugh, I can't anymore. I can't. I can't breathe. So that was interesting. And I actually came home and ordered a new inhaler because I used up the old one. So, yeah. Um, I also was cleaning and rearranging my closet when I came home. Um, you, if, again, if you follow me on social media, you know I took the tool, tool bo two tool boxes out of my closet um, in here in this room. And I was going to actually go buy some shelving to put in there. And my husband looked at me and said, don't you remember we have shelving just like that out in the garage that we're not using? I took it apart. I didn't remember. <laughs> Um, so that was great. So I pulled the toolboxes out and put the shelving in. I had other shelving that was already in there on top of the toolboxes. I was able to stack them and um, was able to rearrange things in there in a much more useful fashion and actually get a little more in there than was in there before and free up some floor space. Um, my easel was kind of propped up in the corner between the closet and my table and I you know it was I had to move it to get the drawers of the toolbox open and that was a pain now everything fits in the closet the easel and everything everything's easily accessible yay um, and, but it's also out of the way when I'm not using it yay um, and it cost me nothing gotta love that yeah it cost me nothing um, I did go to Target um, yesterday Monday Monday yeah Monday and <laughs> bought some um, storage bins and FYI they have some of their because it's back to school time they have some of their storage bins in multi packs so they have shoebox size and I think it was in a four or five pack for five dollars and then they had a slightly larger one in a two pack for five dollars so uh, that's a good deal and usually your big box stores at this time of the year will have storage things on sale so if you're in the process of reorganizing something and you need storage bins, look for those kind of sales or go to the dollar store. Um, and in the process of cleaning and doing all of that stuff, I found a Altoid tin in one of my boxes of stuff, this, this, this tin, which I may save, but it's full of um, knitting needle tip protectors, which I was like, oh, well, I sold all the knitting needles, so if any of you out there need needle protectors, the tips um, I have a whole box of them, different sizes, different kinds. <laughs> I don't know. So if you, if you know anybody out there could use these, let me know. I have these things too, and I forget what they're for. I think they're just to put on your knitting needles, like to give it a grip. But I don't remember. It's been a while. They're still flex. The rubber is still flexible, so they're still good. Um, anyway, let me know. You probably won't get the tin. I'll probably just shove these in a Ziploc bag and mail them to you. But let me know. Email me. My contact info is in the description below. If you could use these, I'll just send them to you free. Um, and Cindy, if you're watching this, my friend Cindy Utter, um, I have a pile of stuff for you here that I'm going to be sending off to you. We've discussed some of it already. So 
It's here. I'll get it off to you in the next day or two. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still coughing and wheezing, although I've been home since Saturday. It's the 11th, Tuesday the 11th. Um, <coughs> it's kind of dusty and dry in California. We've had no rain, so... Um, and I'm trying to keep myself out of situations that are aggravating it. I wasn't able, obviously, to do that while I was on vacation. Um, but it's difficult because, you know, I wanted to go hiking. And between the dust and the um, heat, um, I was coughing a lot. And um, it was really hot out, so hiking wasn't recommended for those of us who could breathe well which isn't me. <laughs> so, um, that was tough. I don't, you know, it's something I'm going to have to just get used to. Um, but what I could see, I loved and had a lot of fun. I think that's it right now. I've got to film another Deco Art Monday, part three for the Camp Fabulous Canvas series. I'm going to do that today. So it will air on Monday. And I did a uh, videotape last night, um, some video footage on the crocheted bracelets. Um, I don't know if I was in camera the whole time. My family came home towards the end. I don't know. So I'm going to have to do some creative editing and try to actually see if I can type up some written directions for you that I will try to probably post on my blog, on my website, on my blog page um, at the same time. And I encourage you all, if you have questions after watching the video, to just, you know, we'll do a Google Hangout or something and you can ask me questions about it. Um, I did come home with this um, new um, studio buddy, this little frog, isn't he cute? I got him in the Valley of the Fire gift shop, this little mosaic frog, isn't he cute? So he's sitting over here on my desk. Um, I think that's it right now. I can't think of anything else. It's been a stressful week. I ended up going to the bank for a quick errand in it. You know, every time my husband says, oh honey, can you go take care of this? Uh, it's always a big deal <laughs> and it's always complicated and difficult and there's always problems and they have nothing to do with me <coughs> ugh but it got it taken care of yay <laughs> but yeah I mean, next time he says that I'm going to go really why don't you just can we do it Saturday and can you come with me because you know every time you've sent me to do this it's like an issue yep I have a workman's cop evaluation coming up at the end of the month, and then I think that's the last one I have to do. I hope, God, cross your fingers, I don't have to do any more. The paperwork was waiting for me when I got home, so I had to fill that out. That was stressful. <laughs> Just, you know, one thing after the other, after the other. Life, right, gets in the way. <sighs> I'll go make some more art, it'll make me feel better. Now keep me out of the cookies, maybe. <laughs> all right, you all don't forget, um, that uh, all of my copyright disclaimers and information is in the description below along with my contact information so if you want to get a hold of me for any questions comments concerns or if you have a product you'd like me to review um, you can get a hold of me just look in the description below my uh, email address and p.o box are all down there and uh, don't forget to go out uh, and please like share and subscribe have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.